As we move closer to the January 3rd Iowa caucuses, a new front runner is emerging in the state. A new Rasmussen poll of Iowa caucus goers has Ron Paul just five percentage points behind the leader, Mitt Romney. The congressman is not new to the race for the White House and points out his message hasn't changed, but he says the world has. KIMT News 3's Sarah Danik sat down with Ron Paul and has more from Studio 3. He's a Texas congressman serving in the House of Representatives. He's also a physician and is known for his strong viewpoints on topics like foreign policy. And for the third time, Ron Paul is making a bid for the White House. Our conversation began with the economy and his plan to get things going once again. Debt is the problem. We're in too much debt and it can't be handled uh, just by spending more money and making the debt bigger. So my position is to get the economy going, you have to get rid of that debt. That means cut spending. My first year, I propose that we cut $1 trillion, cut five departments, go back to 06 budget, and be serious about it. I don't see anybody else is even anywhere close to being serious. All the talk in Washington is just talking about proposed increases, but no significant, no real cuts. Now, $1 trillion, I mean, that, that's a, a, lot of money. a lot of money. How do you do that? I mean, can it really be done in a year? Well, the big question is, is what happens if you don't do it? And that's a disaster because that's when you go to runaway inflation. You just print money because the economy gets weaker. You can't get revenues and your borrowing power gets exhausted. You know, our credit rating has been downgraded. It probably would be downgraded again. So uh, you have to do it. No, it's not easy, but you, you cut in the places where it's the easiest cut. For me, it's cutting overseas. And I think you can get a coalition of both liberals and conservatives to cut overseas spending. That means we have to change our foreign policy. We don't need all these wars. In the past 10 years, we ran up a debt of $4 trillion with these wars, which I think are unnecessary and unconstitutional. And they're endless, and they just go on and on. So I would start bringing troops home and let them spend their money here at home, which would be a stimulus. Uh, how long do we have to keep troops in Germany and Japan and South Korea? Uh, so you could change things immediately. That, that would be helpful. But you could save uh, hundreds of billions of dollars doing this. But I want to go back to the 06 budget levels, which is a big cut. You'd be surprised how much increases there were in the last five years. Tremendous cuts, plus getting rid of some departments. Now, some of your foreign policy issues, you differ uh, from other Republicans. Are you afraid of losing votes at all uh, by taking that strong stance? <laughs> Well, that's what people ask me about, but the, but the truth is, is 70% of the American people say, time to get out of, out of Afghanistan. None of the other Republican candidates are willing to say that. So no, I think I am uh, uh, you know, very much in tune with what the people want. They'd much rather have us cut spending over there than start cutting food stamps from people here, unemployment benefits. So I think that's the last place where you should cut and you should start because it's much easier to cut overseas. And uh, if, it, if it was a threat to our national security, Security, that would be a different problem. But I think all that spending and starting war after war, like right now, they're ready to take, go into war against Syria and they're ready to go into war against Iran. That doesn't help our national defense. So the American people are with me on this and, and it's easier to cut that. So that's where I think I'm getting, uh, why I'm getting a lot of support right now. Folks are responding to you. you you've been doing very well in recent polls. You've moved up on a recent Des Moines Register poll uh, several points. What do you think you know, your, your turnaround is, is due to or, or the increase is due to? Well, my message hasn't changed. People say, well, your message is, you know, modified now, they're accepting it. No, my message is the same as it was because I wouldn't know how to present any other message for 30 years. But the country has changed. The world has changed. The conditions have changed. The financial crisis has hit. We worried, you know, for years about a financial bubble and the housing bubble. And we've talked a lot about, you know, the financial bubble, the NASDAQ bubble. This stuff has all come about. And on foreign policy, the American people, 70 percent are now saying, what are we doing in Afghanistan? We're, we're ready to come home. So the conditions of the country and the world have changed dramatically. And all of a sudden, what I've been talking about is much more appropriate. And we'll continue our Road to the Caucuses coverage on Monday when we'll hear from candidate and Texas Governor Rick Perry. That's this Monday on KIMT News 3.